Okay, so I want to create a video on the effects of high blood sugar on your nerves. Okay, so there's three types of the nerves that could be affected. Uh, the motor nerve, which basically go to the muscle. So if there's damage to the motor nerve, you're going to have weakness or a loss of that muscle function. Could be complete atrophy or a loss of paralysis, basically. Number two, then you have the sensory nerve. Now, if there's sensory nerve damage, you might have full control of the motor muscle, but you might not be able to feel it, so you can have numbness. Or you could have a burning sensation, or pins and needles. If the blood sugars are high and you get damaged with the sensory nerve, you could have a lot of leg pain, especially at night, okay? Because the blood sugars tend to affect the peripheral nerves first. That's the nerves in the fingertips, in the toes, in the bottom of the feet. So you can have pain, numbness, weakness, and even cramping because of the loss of electrolytes, which then can cause pain. And number three, you can have a damage to the autonomic nervous system, okay? Now, what is that? Those are the nerves that control uh, different functions in the glands or the organs, okay? So if you have damage to those nerves, you could become impotent, have urinary retention, or number three, you can have damage to the ocular muscles. That would be the muscles around the eye. So maybe you have one eye that's drooped down a little bit more. But blood sugar in general, if it's high, will destroy the blood vessels that go to the nerves. So it starves the body of oxygen as well. And it can destroy the actual nerves themselves or the sheath around the nerve, which is called myelin, okay? So as you can see, there's a lot of damage that can be created to the nerves when you have high blood sugar, okay? So what are you gonna do about it? There's two things. Number one, you need to get on a ketogenic diet. You need to do intermittent fasting. Those are the things that are gonna heal this dysfunctional insulin and help it control this high sugar. Number two, B vitamins. If you have enough B vitamins in your body, and by the way, high blood glucose will deplete your B vitamins, B12, B1, B6, B5. So if you can actually correct this, you'll prevent the loss of B vitamins. And then if you take more B vitamins, you can actually protect the nerves because they need those B vitamins to function and work correctly. And also, you need B vitamins to support the myelin and the blood vessels, all right? So get your B vitamins through nutritional yeast, and I put a link down below on what you can eat to help support healthy blood sugars. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, definitely sign up for my free keto course. I put a link down below. It's on Messenger and Facebook, but it will give you all the basics. It's very quick. It's like three or four videos, and it's free. Check it out.